Hey everybody, and we are here doing a let's play of Metroid Prime. Oh gosh, what are you used to saying, man? Alright, time to activate the elevator. Again, step into the hologram to make stuff happen. Five. And now he's not. As you can see, they're a, they're a slight threat. But if you just like juke back and forth like this, I mean, they're really not very dangerous, actually. I mean, I'm pretty much just like free it right now. It's going for him. Yeah, those uh things that they drop give you ten health points. All right, let's see what's in here. Eh? Oh look, we can uh, pick up some missiles there. Yeah, new research entry. Missile ammunition. Repl replenishes five rounds. Got it. Oh, what's up there? Can't see it. Is this a door? Nope, it's a wall. Alright, let's go in here. Now, whenever you see one of these little circle things, definitely means that you need to scan there. Right, let's go in this thing. Start the little elevator ride. Let's go down. Alright, I think this door's gonna open here. Yeah, okay, cool. We got a couple enemies still alive in here. Space pirates in the beginning of the game are rather weak. A couple missiles, some shovel shots from the gun will take them right out. Really, not, not much of a threat at all. Alright, now let's look at this door. This door is tightly sealed. And does not appear to be receiving power. Well, what are we gonna do with that? What is this? This device does not seem to be functional. There must be something nearby that will turn it on. Hmm. I guess we walked right past that, didn't we? Door lock enabled. Please insert metallic sphere to open door. It's a weird lock, but okay. So yeah, of course we need to put we need to be a ball and pop in that little hole there. Becomes apparent because there's a little. It looks just like a morph ball hologram above the uh, above the thing. Oh crap! Turrets. Not easy enough. Aren't you behind us? No. Nope. Charge beam can be used to draw in pickups. Yeah, those are too high for us to get. Charge up our charge beam. Suck them right in. It has to be within a certain amount. It has to be within a certain distance for it to work effectively. Hey, I think this is a save room. Sweet. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you learn those notes. Another effect of uh, saving is that it re refills your health. Which, as you can see, that little bar up there right now, 99. I saw I thought, that's our health meter. 99 uh, energy. You see, the little hologram looks just like a morph ball. At any rate, later on we're going to gain the ability to have uh, like more health. And we're going to pick up what's called uh, energy tanks. But, uh, not right now. Gosh, look at all the corpses. What happened in here? Oh, cutscene. Parasite Queen. Parasite female, genetically enhanced by unknown means. A weak spot has been detected in this creature's mouth. Use your auto target to fire a new target. The creature exhibits the ability to fire weapon grade blasts of energy from its mouth. A trait not present in the standard parasite. Yeah, that makes sense. It seems that pi the pirates have begun a bioengineering program with considerable results. Gotta protect the combat visor to lock on. Anyway, yeah, just shoot it in the mouth. And whenever this little uh, opening, see there's a blue shield around her, and there's an opening in the shield. You need to be near that opening, uh, like you have to shoot through it in order to harm her. You see, there you go, right? Just like this. And it's taking take him out pretty quickly. Really, we could use missiles on this. I mean, it's really not that hard of a fight. Just pop shots at, at him in the mouth. Basically, 
just tap the button and this fight fights itself. Once you're scraping on one side, uh, she'll miss. All her little laser blasts will miss. So, took her out, that was easy enough. Okay. Evacuate immediately. Let's evacuate immediately, guys. Evacuate immediately. Reactor core critical! Evacuate immediately! Oh wow, we only have seven minutes? You mean we actually have to evacuate within a certain amount of time? Dude, I cannot remember the last time that I had to evacuate somewhere in a first-person game, and there was actually a legitimate time limit. Like, whenever you, have you guys ever played uh, Fear or Fear 2? They'd be like, oh no, the base is gonna explode or whatever, you know? Like, we need to evacuate immediately! And then, like, you can just fart around for as long as you want, and nothing bad will ever come of it. And it's pretty much it's pathetic, actually. Oh, space pirates between us and the exit. Oh, not anymore. All the energy tanks sitting around. There's a lot of bloops on my radar. I think alive? No. Alright. We're gonna want to hop up here. Avoid the flames. Shoot missiles at the pirate. We got one more over here, it looks like. Did he drop health? Yeah, I already I picked it up with that one, too. Crap, we got another one? Alright, missile. Missile. And he's dead. Beautiful. How much time have we got left? 546? I mean, on the evacuation, not on the video. Uh, is this the part that will kill you? I don't think so. And then we get introduced to these little things. I hate these things. Just like repeatedly lock on and shoot at them. And they do do damage, but the, the main effect is that they, they make your screen get all hooked up, as you can see. They do, they do tiny amounts of damage. But they, yeah, again, the main thing is that then now your screen is covered in green crap and you can't see what you're doing. There's a whole, a whole crap load of them will do damage to you. One or two won't. One or two will just make your screen get messed up. It's only if you get hit by like five or more minutes they start like actually having enough potential to do damage that they actually need to worry about it. I generally just kind of like shoot at them as I run by. If they're on the ceiling above you, a lot of times you can sneak by them and they are really not that much of a threat. Like right here, we kind of just run past. And I know some people will be like, oh, well, that's not really 100% complete. You ran past a bunch of enemies back there. Whatever. Keep going. I'm not going in circles, am I? I feel like I am, but I think this is where we're supposed to go. You know what? I haven't even messed with all our settings yet. I still have to like configure like the screen. It's like I don't really like the way it looks now. But I'll do that in the next video. Can I open this? Oh, I guess I don't have to. Let's keep running. Keep running. Yeah. Because that game actually has a pretty surprisingly realistic effects engine for like what your uh visor looks like. Like, if you walk through, uh, like, a, a misty spray, you get, your visor will get all misted up, and you won't be able to see as well. Or if it's like... Yeah, you see it there? Yeah, isn't that cool, or what? It does, with, it does with some other things, too. Like, I can't wait to show you guys what it, what it does when you're in the rain. Oh my gosh. I, I want to know who spent the time to program this stuff, because he did a pretty good job. Crap, I got a bunch of enemies over here. Keep running. Yeah, they basically run you through the, all these tunnels until you get to the evacuation point, which would oh, presumably presumably be your ship. All right, now this one—that's the one that can kill you. And there's actually a little thing in the game where we're oh, we're supposed to follow it, aren't we? Uh, you know what? I'll wait for the next one. I thought we were supposed to go right there for some reason. Yeah, don't be out there when that comes this way. You don't want to be that close to it. If we head down here, there should be a doorway. There we go. That's what we want. Three minutes left, huh? Nah, we'll make it. We'll make it before the end of the video. Oh, my GameCube is making scary cracking sounds. I don't like that. Cutscene. Oh, crap! It's Ridley! I hate that guy. You don't get to fight him just yet, though. He flies off, I think. Yeah. What a pisser. Oh, wow. 
you can actually see Samus' eyes. Yeah, use the L button when the grapple icon appears. And let go, and use it again. Otherwise, you'll swing back and forth. Oh, is that important? Oh, yeah, I just... You can scan those things and disable the turrets. This makes it a tiny bit easier, I mean. Some things you do have to scan, like this, uh, elevators and stuff. Those are required. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Explosions! Good thing we already activated the elevator. What is happening? Oh my god, our shoulders are gone! 